bliss means awareness. You will see every moment becomes more aware. You will start seeing everything becomes more conscious, more, more full of awareness. Then the whole thing will naturally change. Whenever you do anything with awareness and consciousness, it changes by itself. You don't know to do anything. That will change by itself. With conscience, you have to fight and change your life. With consciousness, your life will simply change. And the third thing, when you are joyful, when your life is changing, you will see automatically the whole world changes around you. That's all. But it is so simple, we feel, this Swami doesn't know much. <laughs> that is the problem. Hmm. Isn't the enlightenment, isn't that state enlightenment? Yes. This is simply enlightenment. You practice this stage, this state, you are practicing enlightenment. That's all. Don't bother about enlightenment. You cannot reach it. Only it has to reach you. When you practice, you will create a uh, space where the enlightenment can happen. Enlightenment is like a flower. You cannot make it open. You cannot make it flower. You create a space. You put a seed, put a little water, a manure and wait. You will see just it flowers. But you need a little bit of patience to wait. If you don't wait, if you every moment look whether it is flowered or not, whether it is ripe or not, a small story. Three monkeys. They lived in a forest. They got one mango. You know, if one monkey gets one mango itself, what will happen to that mango? Three monkeys together, they got one ma mango. And all the three worked for that mango. So the equal share has to go. How to share? They went to an enlightened master for a judgment. Who was living in the forest? The master said, you see, the ma this one small mango, surely all three of you can't, can't share. Do one thing. Plant this mango. And pour water every day, little uh, manure, put, pour little water, put little manure. In few, after few months, you will have a plant. After some time, you will have so many mango fruits. All the three of you can enjoy mango fruits throughout your life. All the three decided, yes, perfectly all right. We will do the same thing. They planted. One monkey took the responsibility of putting the water. The other one, the responsibility of putting the manure. The third one, security. All the three religiously continued their practice. But even after six months, the seed has not sprouted. All the three went to the master to complain. What is this? At least we would have eaten that one mango. <laughs> now that is also lost. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> to complain, master called all the three mon monkeys and asked what happened. The first monkey replied, See, every day morning religiously I used to pour water. I don't even go for my morning walk. But I pour water. I do not know what has happened. Next came and told, Even if I don't go to gym, I put the manure. You do not know how religiously I did. I do not know what has happened. Third came and told, 24 hours I used to stand there to take care of the mango. For the last six months, I missed all my datings. Just I was standing there, standing there, standing there, taking care of the mango. And not only that, every day at least once in a day, I just dig it out and see whether it has sprouted or not. <laughs> You just dig out every day and see whether it has sprouted or not. You will be doing the same mistake of the third monkey. So put the seed, put little manure, allow the flower to happen. Put all these understandings. Putting this understanding is the seed. Doing little meditation is the water. The Guru's grace is the manure. Your patience waiting, the little bit of patience and your waiting will happen, will allow, your waiting will simply allow the flower of enlightenment to happen. Swami, mm -hmm. he chooses the disciple. So how will the disciple know that he has, the disciple has chosen by this guru? Mm -hmm. And what must 
simply you will fall for him not that falling in love raising in love simply your heart you see people come and ask me swami ji if i accept you as a guru should i remember you fool when you can't forget me only then i am your guru if you have to remember me i am not your guru if you say i am not able to forget you swami ji do something <laughs> then you be very clear i am your guru simply you will see your heart will be taken away all your logic all your head you will try your best to forget oh i have to do this i have to do this what is this all day i am thinking of him <laughs> you will see that will start happening then you can be sure you are chosen and you have chosen and you are chosen that's all so what is parama hamsa and what is sanyasi <laughs> see sanyas is the man who is travelling towards the path paramamsa is the man who has reached the path that's all who reached the enlightenment mm. Mm. when you say be aware mm. is it the same thing be witness ah witness sakshi awareness watching the breath meditate everything is one and the same be blissful all these things are one and the same same phenomena different words Perfectly all right, perfectly all right. That's what Ramakrishna says beautifully. In the family there are ten people. Wife serves everybody, serves the mother-in-law, father-in-law, daughter-in-law, or the husband. Every she serves the kids. She serves everybody, but she shares her shares her bed only with the husband. Just like that, you you may have thousands of relationships, but the beloved is totally different. The same way, you will know in your own heart you are Sadguru. never allow somebody else to guide you who is your guru your heart allow your heart to guide you that will guide you rightly and properly no other thing can guide you only your heart can guide you allow your heart to guide you and moreover so many masters will be there it is not that there will be so many enlightened people it is not that all enlightened people can help all the disciples there are seven kinds of minds and seven kinds of enlightened masters this exact that kind of master can help that kind of minds easily so it always that kind of minds get touched by the that kind of master so many times right masters they guide the disciples even to other other gurus it happens sometimes directly sometimes indirectly it happens so only one scale your heart simply you will see i am not able to forget him that is the state you will see that your guru has chosen you or you have chosen the guru hmm. people many times ask me swamji if i accept you as my guru should i remember you continuously <laughs> then be very clear i i tell always tell them never accept me as a guru you will see you are not able to forget if that happens then it is not even under your control then it will happen hmm. yes Hmm. Uh, and also if it happens to be a part of uh, uh, happens to be, if it happens to be part of yoga sutra or not hmm. shaivism is vegetarianism no, no, no. Uh. Part of shaivism 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 is a great subject which takes two days <laughs> and yoga sutra takes more than three days <laughs> how can i connect both <laughs> in yoga philosophy about god much is spo- not spoken only in one place ishvara pranidhanani only in one place in the niyama yoga the patanjali speaks on the god shaivism is totally based on shiva shaivism is also has got a techniques from yoga yoga is also having some port of some portion of the shaivism but i tell you yoga is the base on which shaivism is built on the base of yoga only all the religions are built as i told you yoga is the book of books religion of religions philosophy of philosophies it is an unabridged dictionary of world philosophies okay